Hello beautiful people, I'm Charlene Radlin and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because if you watched my previous video then you will know exactly what I'm going to be talking about today. And if you haven't watched my last video, well then it's here or here, somewhere along here for you to check out. But for those of you who have no idea what I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to tell you, drum roll. It is the Zuvi blow dryer. Isn't it? freaking beautiful oh my goodness this mirror effect right here so pretty so i'm gonna be talking all about zuvi today this video is gonna be dedicated to them because they sent me this bad boy and i feel like i need to do it justice by get, dedicating an entire video to them and so i'm gonna be talking about the features that it has the unboxing process and what makes it so special so i just gotta say that i'm the girl with a 25 dollar conair blow dryer okay to me a blow dryer is a blow dryer. It does what it says. It blows dry air. Since I've started using Zuvi, my mind has kind of changed. Oh my God. So Zuvi reached out to me wanting to gift me one of their blow dryers. And I was like, sure. Okay. Yeah, whatever. A blow dryer. Fine. All right. And it had a bunch of claims. Like it had this claim how it's supposed to dry my hair faster, not damage my hair, you know, as much as other blow dryers. It's supposed to, I mean, like, I was like, okay, yeah, what? All right, let's try your blow dryer, let's see. Holy crap, my mind is blown. So first I'm just gonna talk about the unboxing process really quick. So when I received the package from Zuvi, I opened it up immediately, like immediately open because I just knew that I needed to know, like I needed to see this blow dryer. What I saw online was like the most visually stunning blow dryer ever. So I just needed to see it with my own eyes instead of just like on the internet. When I first opened it up, I loved the packaging. I loved how Zuvi was cut out in the cardboard box. I thought that was just a very nice touch. When I took it out and I actually saw the packaging, I was just like, oh, whoa, I have arrived with blow dryers. Like, your girl has arrived. This is, this is on another level of bougie because of the way that it looked, like visually freaking stunning. Plugged it in immediately. I was like, I'm gonna be all cute and like do a cute little unboxing. Didn't last, didn't last. I was just too excited. I opened it right away and it actually came with three different attachments. So it came with the diffuser, styling concentrator and the gentle air attachment. Now I'm gonna go over those in a bit, but I wanna get back to my unboxing experience. So one of the biggest differentiators that I realized in this blow dryer was that in a typical blow dryer, it has low, medium, and high. This one was different. This one actually has care mode, style mode, fast mode, and soft mode. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> what, what do I do? What do I do? I have to relearn. I have to relearn blow dryer lingo now. I, I don't understand what's going on. So when I went through the manual, it actually said for curly hair or wavy hair, you should use the fast mode. Care mode is also very similar to fast mode. So I kind of switched in between the two to see if there was really a difference in that. And I, I kind of didn't really see a difference in the modes per se. Soft mode is more for the person that has a very sensitive scalp. Maybe you've gone through, you've been going through the ringer with your blow dryer or your experiences with your hair and you really wanna take it easy on your scalp. You make sure that you don't wanna use a whole lot of heat on there. Style mode is the one that you would use if you wanna blow out your hair. You would also attach the style concentrator um, attachment on it and then blow out your hair so that we could get a really sleek look. And then if you wanted a burst of cool air, then you would just go ahead and press and hold the button and then it would burst cold air. So now that we've gone over all the modes, let's get into the design and then my overall thoughts. Visually, I am absolutely in love with this product. It is so stunning. And then you have the glass right here, which I'm gonna get into in a second. You also have a faux leather wrap around the handle that is oil resistant. Zuvi is also extremely light, less than a pound. All of the attachments are actually magnetic. So you, like without even trying, I'm able to just slip that on there. Visually still beautiful. It fits in my bag very well. I actually took this to Texas to when I went to go visit my family 
and it fit in my carry-on so easily versus my Conair, which takes up a lot of room in my bag. I do love how tiny this blow dryer is and how powerful it is. And for the amount of power that this blow dryer has, it is significantly quieter than my Conair. Now, three out of the four features that I talked about, there is a green light that actually turns on when using these modes and at first i just thought oh a green light this is just for like aesthetic and then i read that it's not for just aesthetic it's actually a part of the technology that zuvi created to dry your hair faster and reduce the amount of heat that is actually drying your hair i did a video with my hair using the conair i wanted to see if it was all in my head so i did a video of me actually re-blow drying my hair using my diffuser and everything using the conair and then a couple days later i used zuvi i wanted to know if it was all in my head and if i was just making it up and i saw the significant difference and i actually felt a significant difference in my hair so when i used my conair my products in my hair actually felt heavier and there was still a lot of frizz on the top part of my hair like i get a lot of frizz right in here and i have to really go in with a demon brush and go in and smooth it out and really nurture this area of my hair because it gets really really frizzy and when i used the conair i realized how much it emphasized like re-emphasized the frizz and then when i used the zuvi same technique flipping my hair over it's not like i went more delicate with the zuvi i was doing the same dang thing it didn't react the same way my hair didn't have the same experience it was insane like my curls genuinely my curls are in really good condition i'm like actually blown away <laughs> i've had the blow dryer now for about two weeks i've been using it i've been extremely happy with my experience so far zuvi's really changed how i see and blow dry my hair i do want to try out this blow dryer straightening my hair that's going to be really huge on that's going to be really huge for me maybe i'll do a comparison video with my revlon or i can do it with my conair let me know in the comments which one you guys want to see also if you guys want me to do a comparison video even with the dyson um as well but i definitely think this packs a punch for the price so speaking of price this blow dryer is $349. So my final thoughts, <laughs> I'm blown away. I am so utterly surprised with Zuvi's performance. I think that, I, I wanna say Curly Girls specifically would really benefit from this blow dryer because it's really hard to achieve a diffuse look without spending a lot of time with a blow dryer in your hand. I am utterly surprised and so beyond happy knowing that this blow dryer didn't take me like a half an hour to diffuse my hair to get it to look this way. I also wanna say, talk about the temperature. This, air, this blow dryer never made my scalp feel, feel hot. There's a lot of times when I'm using a diffuser and when I have my hair cupped up, right, like this, I will end up having like a ton of flyaways just kind of like go up and that's the, that's generally how I would get a lot of frizz. So I try to make sure that I hold it, you know, this way with my Conair. Even when I used the Zuvi and I had it going like this, it's not like the air went so far through it that it would make a lot of the other hair stick up. It stayed so concentrated in the one area and then would dry it that I can then move into a completely different section, dry that section as well, go right under here, and I was able to dry that section as well. And my scalp never felt like it was burning. And I thought that was so interesting because basically, in a nutshell, Zuvi is, has sensors in it that will auto adjust to the surrounding area the surrounding air and the temperature so that way it will know that it shouldn't get like hotter to a certain degree to burn your hair like so it won't burn it so it won't burn your hair and i just think that that is like insane this blow dryer is really proving that you don't need the intense crazy amount of heat to get the results that you aspire to have one of the most unique things I also thought about Zuvi was that you can actually clean out the filter. So in the back, you actually get to go like this, 
release the back and then you see how there's like a bunch of like fuzz and frizz here already it comes with a little brush and you're able to just brush it out or you can use or you can just use an old toothbrush and you just brush it out and it helps keep the filter clean so that way you never have to disrupt the amount of airflow that you are receiving through your Zuvi. Uh, I am pleasantly surprised with Zuvi. They have really blown it out of the water regarding how I view blow dryers and the science behind it. Let me know in the comments down below what your guys' thoughts are, if you've heard of Zuvi, and I'm so grateful that they even wanted to send me a blow dryer. So thank you Zuvi and your whole team for sending me this blow dryer and um, allowing me to share it with all of you guys. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let me know in the comments if you guys, what videos you guys want from me in the next coming weeks. It is now spring. So your girl feels like she can make more videos because I actually have the energy for it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys with the next one. See ya.